Yo, what's up guys, Greg here. So you looked at the Soul Dancer and you thought, yeah, that looks cool. You wanna know a little bit more details about the abilities and stuff. I got you covered, kind of. You know, I was kind of waiting for maybe a native speaker to translate stuff for us, but um, yeah, it looks like for this game, we're kind of on our own here. So we're gonna to have to resort to Google Translate. And um, yeah, it's it's not terrible. I mean, the translations aren't terrible. They They make sense, so. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that and uh, get all the abilities for the Soul Dancer out and ready for you guys. Just, uh, yeah, hang tight and be ready for some terrible translations here and there. Let's get into it. All right, the first ability we're gonna talk about is called Time Swell. This ability is like your self buff that also that raises your defenses and um, your movement speed and stuff like that. But also there's an effect that, um, and we'll explain these, this ability at the end. Um, there's an ability that like connects you with one of your teammates. So it also affects the teammate you're connected with. So um, basically, yeah, it lasts for up to 12 seconds, increasing your movement speed, critical resistance, cooldown reduction, and all that stuff. And then you can see down here, it says if you're, the two parties are less than 10 meters, you and the person that you're connected with, the contract object will also get the time distorting effect with their body size increased by 3%, their movement speed increased by some sort of percent and the damage reduced by 20% that they take. So, and then like the other details about the buff down here are your current effect increases your movement speed by 30% and resists and crit critical strikes all by 30%, health increased by 0%, no, that's not right, 20%, and cooldown reduction level increased by like around 2,000 or something like that. Like cooldown reduction is like a stat in the game. Okay, next ability here is called Azure Engraving. And let's go ahead and translate this one. Release the alchemy matrix within a radius of five meters of the target point, causing a large amount of damage to a maximum of five random enemies in the circle every second. And a continuous cooldown of two seconds and dragging the skill button, you can, by dragging the skill, you can release it and, you know, kind of target it in different areas. Pretty simple on that one. That's like here, we showed in our last video, the big circle ability that damages people. That's the one we're talking about right there. And then it does a total of, so the damage numbers uh, are dependent on your level, of course. So my guy's level 58, uh, it does 59,000 damage. So I guess probably like about 1,000 damage per level. All right, next ability, Psy Phase Shock. And this is um, one of the most important abilities for the Soul Dancer. The twins move through the invisible phase and instantly move to the shock one to injured enemy to take one additional da damage. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to read this translation, but basically this is this ability like makes your invisible twin guy, you can kind of control where he goes using this ability and then he'll stay at that, at that point at the, at the place that you send him for 10 seconds. So this is extremely important because as a soul dancer, you can like set up really, really sick high level plays with this ability. Because when you get to your second page of abilities, then you can use this ability that makes it so your invisible guy will copy as we showed in the last video. He'll um, cast the same exact spell that you, that you cast. So if you p place him with this ability in the perfect strategic position, then you can go ahead and make sure that you have like two like um, time stop bubbles going out into two different uh, places at the same time. And there's just like so, so many possibilities of making like huge plays with this, setting up huge plays with this ability. And he does a decent chunk amount of damage to wherever you send him, so that's also a plus. All right, moving on to the next ability. What do we have here? Bing Yao Impact. I'm not sure if that translation's correct, but we'll go with that. Body combined magic attack deals magic damage to the target and its enemies up and up to five enemies and will restore a small amount of health to yourself. The ice shock released by the twins slows the injured target by 20%. It lasts for three seconds, but bursts in five seconds. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. Bursts in five seconds. 
I guess we'll have to wait for a real a better translation to figure out what that means. But yeah, as you can see here, it does a decent chunk of damage and heals yourself at the same time. Pretty plain and simple ability right there. All right, so moving on to the next page, the two witches kiss. It sounds, I don't know if that's the correct translation either, but I like the sound of it. So we'll go with that. Use the taboo witch metamorphosis factory to turn the target into three little yellow ducks that attack, I don't think it's three ducks, without the sun and at the same time greatly weaken the target's physical and magical defense for three seconds. When the Sioux shaped control is continuously performed for a short, to short time, uh, the duration will be reduced. So basically you can't like spam it over and over. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's your little sheep polymorph ability that we have there. Reduces, um, reduces the resistances by 1,389. Like sometimes the translation thing gets confused and thinks like the numbers are dates, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not nine points by the 13th. All right, next one is time lock. Okay, so this is our big bubble that freezes everybody. Time and space have been curved, making time and space still within the range of the heart and five random enemies entering the space and time for three seconds. If the target is controlled by spatio-temporal static multiple times, or same thing as like with the last thing, you can't like spam it over and over because the, the duration will get shorter every time uh, you use it. And uh, yeah, that's it. 40 second cooldown on that one. Very nice ability. Who retrospective? I'm not sure if that's correct either, but um, yeah, uh, it, the translation is kind of hit and miss here. So we'll uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and yeah. <laughs> Turn time back and heal yourself and your partner's wounds. Combat status and energy return to the best. Add random crit to teammates within five meters around you. Armor penetration and multiple strike boost effects. Additional attack boosts for 12 seconds. Restores a small amount of health for players in range every second. Okay, so that's our big AoE heal ability that we saw in our last video. And also, I didn't know this, but uh, apparently it does increase like attack. have an attack buff and armor penetration and crit buff on it too, so... Very, very useful ability there. That's another 40 second cooldown. Okay, the effect is 364 crit stat points and multi strike points, armor breaker, 5% offensive attack, and uh, restores health by. Well, that depends on your level, so just ignore that number. Okay, and then this is the ability we're talking about where you use it and it duplicates whatever your next spell that you use. Experience is like a shadow one in imitating his own movements, copying the next solid skills released by himself, including the kiss of the witch, time steadiness, and the support of the retrospective light to increase the damage caused by the twins in normal attacks. So it increases your basic attack damage, and uh, that's a 60 second cooldown on that. Basic attack and ice blast impact by 2000 well depends on your level of course so yeah that's our ability it increases our basic attack and then it also duplicates one of those other three spells in the top area there and then this is the ability we talked about at the very beginning the contract where you can bind yourself with another person the descent is selected by bloodline to conclude a contract let me get a better Translation here, box here. Okay, the friendly army concludes a contract that during the duration of the contract, when the release time of the family expands, if the distance between the two parties is not more than 10 meters, the contract will also get time distortion, increase cooldown, and reduce damage. Okay, so basically you just throw that on your tank, or if somebody else is getting focused, throw that on them and it'll reduce their damage that they take and reduce their cooldowns so nice 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 that's it for the soul dancer then those are all of our basic abilities you know there are some ultimate abilities and stuff in the game um we i won't go into those right now but uh this is all the this is the basic toolkit of the soul dancer thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and hit some buttons in the description and all that stuff Thanks so much for watching and peace. See you next time. GG.